Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your June 2018 general reading. I will start with love. Uh, these are general messages. If it doesn't resonate, just move right along. It's alright. Maybe next month, uh, maybe another reader, maybe a moon rising sign, whatever. Okay? Alright, so I'll save the announcements to the end. Thank you to those who share, like, and comment. And those who have subscribed to the channel. It's much appreciated. Okay, definitely the comments. The comments help each other. Tell your story down in the comment section. You may find that somebody is going to do the exact same thing. Possibly with the exact same zodiac sign. You know? Uh, of the of the partner. Not of, you know, of you, Libra. But. Okay, so let's get started. Five card advice spread for Libra. All right? First card is you, right where you are. Second card, are you on your correct path? Third card, what's your main obstacle? Fourth card, what's helping you? Fifth card, how can progress be made? How can progress be made? Bottom of the deck, the death card. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio in particular. Some of you just transform and, uh, yeah, transforming the energy for yourself, um, or you're letting an ending happen because you know there's going to be a new beginning. Um, just letting transformation happen for you. You, right where you are, the Nine of Wands, you are defending your territory, defending what's yours, what's left of what's yours. Maybe against a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Are you on your correct path? Eight of Cups. It looks like you feel like no. So you're walking away. You've either mentally, emotionally, emotionally checked out here. Because there's too many secrets, lies, and just outright drama. Could be with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be in a marriage. You could be in a long-standing relationship. You've chosen to just walk away. Um, what is the main obstacle? The star card, healing, or it could be an Aquarius. An Aquarius person is your obstacle. Um, or it's that you need to engage in healing, restoration. You need to um, balance out your emotions. The temperance card, which is Sagittarius, and then the star card. They both have, you know, the water, there, and they're balancing them out. Sagitt uh, Aquarius is pouring out the water because... Aquarius has immense emotions, so so deep, so big that they can't even articulate them. They can't they don't even have room for them for the emotions that they hold inside. So they they pour them out into the earth so that they can find balance. Because to hold on to that much emotion, it will be an emotional overload. So what it's saying is don't hold on to your emotions. Let it out. Through letting things out comes healing, restoration, um, getting wish fulfillment, being on your right path. Okay? So your obstacle may be that you're holding on to exactly how you feel when you should be letting it go so that you can find balance and restore yourself. What is helping you? The King of Swords could be that an Aquarius person is helping you or another air sign. Typically, this is Libra or Aquarius could be another air sign helping you could be another libra helping you could be another could be an aquarius could be a gemini typically this is not gemini but it could be um someone and this could be a lawyer a judge someone is helping you enact some fairness and some uh, balance here uh, some of you could be going and visiting uh, someone of a legal profession someone who makes decisions um yeah so someone like that is helping you. Uh, how can progress be made? The chariot. Cancer here. So we got Cancer and Aquarius on the, on, and Scorpio on the board. Um, progress can be made by getting in control possibly of these emotions, of these fears, of these thoughts. Get in control of the light and the dark. Move forward in victory. Uh, be like the King of Swords. He makes sound logical strategic uh, systematic decisions um, emotions play a, a, a very 
small part in making large decisions. Large decisions in the will be one that involves not just you but other people. Um, you can't take on the emotions of other people and try to make a decision. You have to first realize how you feel about a situation, get in control of your emotions, get balanced, and then make a fair and just decision. Fair and just firstly for you that serves you, but if you can make a fair and just decision that will um, bring balance to the entirety, to the entire situation, to everyone involved, then definitely that's you know that's a win-win for everyone but you got to get in control so you can move forward and I think it let something end here maybe with an Aquarius or with uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio you feeling trapped eight of swords you see no way out you were at the seven of swords devising a plan of action being secretive now you're the eight of swords not seeing a way out something happened um, Maybe a message came in, a mess, a loving message pulled you right back in, sucked you back in. But you know you need to make a decision of which way to go. You don't know which way to go because you feel like you don't have all the information to make that decision. You also feel like there's lots of moving parts. Um, you don't know what the right hand is doing, you know, what the left hand is doing, the right hand is doing, whatever. You don't know. And so it takes you to a place of... Um, you feeling manipulated with the magician here or you feeling like you need to manipulate the situation or manipulate the energy maybe because there isn't an inequality here uh with money or inequality with energy time effort love they could just be outright problems in a marriage um a long-standing relationship you feel like you missed the boat on something with the four of cups you keep worrying about What's lost here, you won't turn around and see that the universe has something better for you in regards to maybe your family, your home life, your happiness. You're going to have to cut something or someone out. Here's the, the Queen of Swords and you have the King of Swords. Definitely a marriage. You're going to have to be like the fool, start over, build your own stability, um, get in control of your emotions with the, like the Queen of Cups. One foot is in the water, one foot is out. She, um, she can easily go back and forth through that earthly spiritual realm. But you keep looking backwards with the Seven of Pentacles at what you lost, uh, what wasn't a gain, um, how much time and energy you put into something, but you know you need to have a separation, a divorce. You need to practice caution in this relationship. The sun is here. Things will be illuminated to you because you're praying about them. And you'll get major downloads because you're very and highly spiritually intuitive. Maybe in regards to a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, there'll be celebration or reconciliation. The high priestess and the high priest are here. Whomever you're dealing with is very intuitive too. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, they could be trying to manifest something with you um they can feel like you're you can feel like they're only with you for sex sexual activity or for the aesthetics could be a virgo um they they may want to take the relationship to the next level and have the ace of pentacles and the ten of pentacles with you um Yeah, with you, the Nine of Pentacles, because they feel like you're ready and you're stable. Uh, they want the Six of Wands with you. They want marriage, love. You may be a little confrontational or standoffish about that, maybe because of the past, right? The past wasn't as beautiful as it should be or should have been. Five of Swords here. Some... uh whatever's happening with the cancer pisces scorpio is supposed to happen uh it might be a rebirth or a second chance with them you guys may be going back and forth right now someone's spying on you know the other someone could be spying on the king of wands
get the hangman status with the fire sign because you don't see that you don't see this relationship transforming prince of wands yeah they're in and out a fire sign is in and out and, and they're sneaky and a liar they made you feel left out before and so what you took a break from them or they took their their um, annual break from you five of cups yeah you you grieve this you keep grieving it because you keep letting them back five of wands but there might be some change here you might stand your ground and uh, choose to partner elsewhere or take your cup back the tower is here saying after that tower situation here comes some truth and clarity maybe you'll lay down this burden and leave um, a fire sign behind or you'll get a message that causes that uh, brings in great fulfillment with the nine of cups maybe in in regards to a Capricorn or you'll get the message that brings oh this is the message of a pregnancy and it might be third party and it brings you to a place of just being mentally ravaged like just mentally done anxiety you you don't feel you just felt like how, how is this happening to me there might be a message that somebody's pregnant your partner got somebody pregnant or you're pregnant or makes you defensive there's the early pregnancy that bring us, brings great betrayal the ten of swords eight of pentacles just wondering should I keep putting work into this and you'll weigh up that decision maybe with a fire sign you might choose to move away and, and find balance from a Sagittarius uh, choose to uh, an offer could be coming in from a Capricorn Virgo Taurus to you because you might be the other woman and there's a choice to be made or vice versa somebody's holding on to a wife but in love with someone else maybe a Leo trying to have strength to leave behind partnership with the three of wands because there's new love here trying to make a decision about a husband figure so very emotionally confused all right <clears throat> okay well leave her good luck pray about it it'll all work out okay let me get you some advice cards okay cards of advice for libra three cards of advice for libra three cards of additional advice for libra what should libra be concerned about three cards of supportive advice for libra okay grief work we saw the five of cups a lot you either need to visit uh you either need to visit a therapist um, you are a therapist adult children parental care bottom of the deck new exercise program um you need to agree some of you are going through divorce or contemplating a divorce you feel like you're the other woman you know you're the other woman blah 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 it's crazy um but whatever it is recognize the emotions that was the first spread that we did you are not actually dealing with how you feel you keep trying to skate over that when you do that it just keeps resurfacing in some other way deal with the hurt the, the grief the pain this could be actual loss of a person uh an actual death grieve it cry about it scream about it be upset be down for a day a week but deal with it so that if it does resurface you can say to self I have dealt with this. I am stronger than this. And then you can move on. But as long as you just keep pushing it down, then there it will be. Adult children. For some of you, your adult children hold the answer to so, so many different things. Either it's monetary, it's emotional, it's mental. Your adult children play a big part in your life here. 
Uh, so if you were thinking that, it's confirmed by way of uh, the advice cards. Parental care, uh, sometimes to move forward, you got to go backwards. Um, we all understand the circle of life. We are born, baby, grow up, we then start to get old. And we need someone to take care of us, just as we did when we first entered the earth. Uh, so go backwards. Your parents may need your help, they need your care, they need you to be closer, you need to be closer. Whatever it may be, um, parental care or, or vice versa, your adult children need to be worried about you. A new exercise program, pretty self-explanatory here. So um, you can take the advice of the car or you can say, ah, no, nah, not that one. Let's do three cards for uh, financial, career and finance. Three cards for career and finance. Three cards for career and finance for Libra. What should Libra know? In regards to their career and finance. Career and finance. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Page of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are trying to make really solid decisions around your long standing um, legacy, your, your money, your investment, your 401k, your savings. Uh, some of you don't see a way to grow this ten of pentacles or to maintain it or you feel like it's dwindling uh maybe you're a child an adult child or someone is going to help or comes in with a message a message of action um that'll put you here back at the queen of pentacles solid um making good decisions financially about the home can afford luxury and, and maintain luxury. So there we are with uh, career and finance. Some of you also um, feel stuck to a job or a way of doing things. A message comes in. Maybe it'll help you out. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you, you're still good. You're still good. Four of Swords, Ace of Cups. Yeah. Eight of yeah, you're trying to defend your money. You feel like it's just dwindling. Something is something is dwindling, but it looks good. It, it in regards to a message coming in, in regards to um, where you are monetarily. You pull great monetary cards. Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. You're great. You're good. Or, or whomever you're dealing with is good. Um, Libra, if this resonated with you please like share comment subscribe to the channel definitely comment your comments may help another libra out there in disarray and disillusionment you know whatever um the comment section is for for you guys is for it's for all of us you know so um all of the information is below website will be up shortly um we'll make an announcement about that uh, follow me on instago Everything you need to know is below, okay? So take care. Libra, remember, when in doubt, pray. I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. I will see you in mid-June. Bye for now.